Hey, Dan. How are you? I was kind of getting ready to come here and do my vlogs, and I had a small amount of time to check everyone else's vlogs. Um, anyway, your recent vlog entry about people who are obese. I can't use the word fat, it just puts me off. Yes, your points are valid. I do agree with you. Obesity is a problem. But please don't, please don't think I'm trying to start a debate or start a riot or an internet argument. I don't want that. I just want to put in my opinion and out of all people, I'm very sure you'd agree with that. Um, obesity is caused by overeating, but it can also be caused by illness and terminal disease. My housemate, I won't reveal her name, she has lupus. Now, I'll let you do some research on lupus because it's just too long to explain. But one of the side effects of lupus in her level of having it, she is obese. Not because of overeating, not because she eats her emotions, but she is obese by her sickness. And no amount of exercise, dieting, will remove all of it. So, to, any, to anyone who just looks at fat people and thinks, oh my, yeah, I said the word, and thinks, oh my god, they're, they're unattractive, they're ugly, stop for a moment and think that maybe it's not because they overeat or anything, it might be something terminal. It might be something that is making them sick. Okay, I mean, my housemate, I have to give her a certain level of care because she just can't do everything. She gets short of breath, her muscles hurt too much, she can do a sink full of dishes, and then she's stuffed. She can't do that much, she can't vacuum, she can't mop. All because of this sickness. It really, really puts her off doing anything. Yes, it gets on my nerves sometimes, but at the same time, I kind of understand. I have terminal illness myself, not of the same kind. But yeah, um, sad but true, obesity doesn't always go away with steady exercise and diet. <coughs> I, c I could use myself an example, but again, terminally sick. I can't have I can't have reasons why I don't lose weight quickly. And yeah, I'm a bit podgy, I know, fucking double chin. Um But yeah, obesity it yes, it is that, but it's also everything else. There's no real cure for it. If my housemate could afford it, I'm sure she'd go and get liposuction. It'd make her life a lot easier. It'd be the only thing that could really get rid of the weight and she'd have to go back every few years to get rid of it again because the body's just going to put it on. She can't help it. And the, the other thing with fat people's clothing, do you actually know how expensive it is to get something over extra large? I went shopping with my housemate a few years ago. We picked up one pair of pants, two shirts. Obviously, you'd expect to pay about a hundred bucks, depending for that. We spent over $250 on those three items simply because they're so simply because, yeah, she, she's overweight, she has to spend more money to get clothing. And this wasn't a high-level fashion shop. It was standard clothing. And it's just expensive. Yes, it, it is kind of off-putting to look at someone who's a bit overweight walking down the street showing off everything. But at the same time, yeah. How, how much money do you really want to give, to give or take because you can't afford clothing? It's really expensive. What other points to put forward? Um, I don't have my notes in front of me, I can't think. Um, eating emotions. I can understand that. Thinking time. Um, no, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, well, my brain gone soft. Okay, so, please don't think I'm trying to start a fight. I'm just launching my opinion and offering you another viewpoint. I'm not trying to fight you at all. Okay? Love you lots. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.